Alright, so this is a paper blower unit that I think we've all seen on, you know, either eBay or AliExpress or some other platform at some point in time. But this is a single filter, pretty basic uh, paper blower unit. And today we're gonna basically unbox it, show it around, and also answer some really important questions such as uh, what filters it can take and what hoses you can connect to it. So all right, let's get started with the unboxing. I'm unboxing this for the first time, so we're experiencing this unboxing together for the first time. So all right, here's the box open, and we can take the unit out. And there's still something else in there as well. So okay, straight off the bat, we can say that the box includes the pepper blower itself with straps or the belt that you tie around your waist or I don't know, over your shoulder, I really have no idea. And a charger, in which you use to charge the internal lithium-ion battery of this unit. So there's another important question. Can you replace the battery on, in this unit? And it looks like, well, not easily. And I bet it's soldered together in there as well. But I do know this unit takes three internal 18650 cells. Whether or not you can can you swap them? Yes. Will it take a bit of skill? Yes. Will it also happen to damage the waterproofing of the unit? In which, yep, there is a seal in there. Not sure. Is it something you want to do? Not really. But the important thing is this has an internal battery that you cannot swap out. Easily, anyways. So that's the first important question out of the way. And so let's just undo these rubber bands and show you the straps so okay so it does look like it's meant to go around the belt and well if you want you can tie it around your you can you can go over your shoulder as well so i guess you know including a belt does make uh, it, it does make the unit come with a viable you know wearing or mounting option which is something that a C420, I think it requires a pouch or, or a specialized belt, but I'm pretty much talking out of my ass here. So yeah, so there we go. It's internal battery. It has a included strap, which makes mounting easier. So now let's move on to the other very important question, what filters it can take. So let's start with something that it pretty much will take a Gauss threaded Chinese TF filter. This, uh, this is, Pretty much just a Gauss threaded filter that Gauss threaded modern filter that will fit pretty much any Russian mask, including the uh, the PMK one and the GP seven, which have the very tricky metal ports. That some some RD forty filters that will fit a lot of Russian masks won't fit on those. These will fit on those, a along with PMK three, uh, PMKS. Very likely PMK four as well as well as GP twenty one. All the Russian mask Mac three. All of those, GP5, PMK, uh, what was it, PMG2, PMG1, this will fit all of those masks, so let's see if it will go in. And this also happens to be the ch cheapest filter, by the way. Uh, the cheapest brand new filter I can get anyways. At a, what was it? Uh, I think it's around, um, it's just slightly under 8 bucks, I think. And it seals in nicely, and there's no, yeah, there's no threading resistance at all. And as you get to the end, yep, I can feel it engaging the O-ring. And the O-ring is a pretty beefy one too. It's pretty, it's quite a large and yep, quite a large thick O-ring that. So I guess that helps with uh, making it compatible with filters that may not have a really good, you know, may not have a really good thread. Well, there we go. So Gauss filter works. Right, so now let's try a filter that is that it should be RD40 times uh, 1 over 7 NATO. It should be. But at the same time, this filter is also compatible with a lot of Gauss masks. Not all, but a lot, including all the Chinese masks that I've tried with it. With it. But it won't fit the metal threads on the GP7. Or uh, or a PMK one, but it will fit a GP five and it will fit a PMKS. So there's that. Let's see if it will fit the blower. So okay. 
So the in-between filter works and it engages the O-ring. Yep, you can feel it. The resistance, there's basically no resistance. So yeah, I guess it will take a intermediary, you know, commercial filter. And this, by the way, is the French Delta Plus M9000. It will focus, come on, tap. There we go. All right, so it works. Now, let's try a Chinese RD40 NATO filter. And this I know is, uh, they describe it as being a RD40 NATO filter and that it also takes, uh, well, you cannot screw it into any gauss filter mask that I've tried anyway. So this is a, from what I can tell, it's a bona fide NATO thread. So let's see if we'll go in. All right. And immediately there's more resistance and yeah, it stops right about here. I mean, I can still go further, but there is a resistance. Although I'm not sure if it's just this filter being special. But yeah, I'm not going to screw it further. I don't want to force a thread on this. Alright, so what else do we have to try? Alright, a Honeywell ABEC key filter. This is definitely RD40, NATO, or whatever. Now let's see if we'll go in. Alright, here's a thread as well. Oh, looks like, okay. It's going in without resistance, that's nice. Yeah, it goes in without resistance at all. And this is a... Yeah, this is a bona fide RD40 times 1 over 7, if that's what it's called. Yeah, this is a NATO filter, so... Yeah, it screws in without resistance and it engages the thread. I mean, it, it engages the O-ring pretty well, so yeah, that's there. That's that, so... Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, so one last filter I'm trying. This is probably a pretty common filter that you'll find everywhere. Some of those MSA ones that were that are made in Germany, this is definitely a NATO threaded filter as it's indicated on the packaging as well. Oh, this is a... Uh, I haven't opened this one yet. Whatever. For science. Come on. Alright, let's go. So if this works, then you can pretty much use it with any... Okay, there is... Oh, is that is that engaging the filter or is that resistance? Yeah, that's resistance. So, yep, there we go. Alright. So, this is... How can I say? This is like... This is like a thread. This is like a typical Chinese thread. It is something that is a little bit different from Russian Gost. It will take pretty much all Gost filters. And it will take some NATO filters, not all, but some. So yeah, it's a, a really weird mix of uh, things, but... I guess uh, if you have a Honeywell filter, it's the perfect one. If you have any Russian or Chinese gauze filters, which these are cheap, by the way. This, a, this TF-A2P3, this thing is cheap. And they make an ABEC. Uh, ABEC 1P3 filter variant of this as well, so yeah, if you have these, you're you're good. But if you have, uh, you know, uh, something like this Gauma filter or, you know, a one of these high-end MSA ones, then yeah, you may be out of luck. They go in with, I'm pretty sure if you use force, you can force it in and it will engage with the O-ring and work, but do you really want to do that? Probably not. Alright, so let's move on to the next very important bit. I'm just cap up my MSA filters since this is a pretty... Oh wait, come on. Alright, let's just cap it up. Good shit. Alright, and so now let's move on to whether or not it will. Let's just move the messy shit out of the way. Focus the camera. All right, so now let's move on to the other important question: whether or not, what no, I mean, what hoses it can take. There we go. So, number one, it's a Russian gauze threaded hose. I mean, it's pretty much gonna work. Let's see. There we go. Yep, it goes in without resistance, and yep, it engages the O-ring. 
So yeah, that's where the hose is. Let me just turn it on to see, just to make sure. Yeah, let's turn on to one power. Hold the, yep. Take this, hold it, and see if there's any air leaking out. Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, I say it's airtight. And yeah, this unit is running pretty low on battery, but as far as I can tell, this fits in without resistance and is airtight. So, alright. Now for the important bit. Whether or not you can use it to LARP. Let's just cut this open. And yeah, double unboxing, I guess, with a NATO hose. There we go. Come on, focus. Thank you. Yeah, that just to show what it is, and let's get it open. Now oh, that is a tough bag. Okay. Come on, I just need the whole. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right. That's, that's good enough for the opening. All right. Come on, come on. There we go. Toss this aside. Okay. I mean, you really don't need fancy packaging for something like hose. Out. This is the part that goes on the mask. And this is the one that goes on the blower. Nice. Let's get this out of the way. Alright. Oh, this is my first time I would experiencing this. Does this turn? How are you supposed to thread this onto a paper unit? Honestly, I have no idea, but. Alright, let's do it then. So, will this work with a Chinese AliExpress blower and it come on okay so it goes in without resistance come on okay it goes in without resistance that's that's nice and yet we can feel it cleanly engaging the o-ring now let's run the test again So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically hold this, yep, hold this tight, focus, and turn the unit on. And feel if there's anything coming out here, which I guess there isn't. Alright, so yeah, that's uh, pretty definitive there. And yeah, there's quite a bit of airflow coming out here. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna charge it because it definitely is running very low on battery. So, in conclusion, this will take gauss filters and it will take some NATO filters and the ones that it will that it will take and go in without resistance is the French Delta Plus M9000 and a Honeywell Chinese market filter. And um pretty sure there are also other NATO filters that will that will go on without uh without any resistance. But as far as I know, these are the only two I can find that will go on. But if you don't mind using you know cheap Chinese uh gauss threader filters or Russian gauss threader filters with this, then this is a pretty good you know blow word I can use. With a with a cheap NATO hose that I can use for LARPing, so yeah, okay. Executive summary: This will take. Uh, this will pretty much take all the important hoses that you will need. It, it will take a Gauss hose, Russian, Chinese, no problem. It will take a NATO hose, no problem. On the side issue of filters, it will take Gauss filters, yes. Some NATO filters. So if you buy it, uh. Just keep this in mind. Okay, mounting options, it comes with its own straps. So, really nothing you need to worry about there if you're not worried about, you know, aesthetics, all those things. It'll go around your waist. You can even just basically take the original strap off, use that as a, use it with your own belt, whatever. And, yep, 
Last important thing, it has a non-interchangeable, well, not, e not easily interchangeable internal battery. So, the, thanks for watching. This is the unboxing and, you know, uh, important questions regarding the Chinese uh, cheap AliExpress single filter pepper blower unit. Alright, thank you guys and see you guys next time.